Hi, this is Al again, and uh, I wanted to do a uh, quick video on uh, battery maintenance. Um, I do it uh, twice a year, uh, sometimes more, depending on how much uh, I'm discharging the batteries. Um, but essentially, you need a, uh, a brush to clean the tops of the batteries, uh, a hydrometer to uh, figure out what your specific gravity on the cells are, uh, distilled water and a, a filler bottle and the battery filler is made uh, to the right length for your batteries to get to the right level and for the distilled water we got to make sure that it says distilled not any other kind uh, so you don't introduce any minerals uh, into your batteries that will damage them and so essentially what you do is uh, this uh, filler is spring loaded uh, you can see and once you uh, have that uh, you know pushed down into the cell the water will flow and when you back it out that it won't flow anymore and you can feel the water going in um, because you'll feel it and hear it uh, gurgling sometimes you don't hear it but you sure feel it in your hand so that's a kind of a an easy way to figure it out and all you do is you pull this out Take your distilled water, take the battery filler, and uh, you set it in place. And I'm sorry I'm having to do this with one hand because I don't have uh, my tripod with me. So I'll do the best that I can to pour some water in there and let you see that. So there's the water going in right now. And that's the steel water. That does it. It's pretty full right now, so water is spilling out if I try to stand it up. So we're going to go ahead and put the cap on it. There we go. And that's all there is to it. So right now this is full and ready to go. And uh, what we're going to do is, the first thing you need to do is you need to grab your, your brush. And what you want to do is you want to come over to where the batteries are. And you want to brush the tops of the batteries to make sure that when you open up the cells, that you're not introducing any contaminants into the battery. And we're just going to do one battery for now, just to show you guys. Uh, and they're all going to be the same, uh, done the same way. So... Uh, once you get all the batteries cleaned up, it's uh, pretty easy to go ahead and open them. Uh, if you have these other kind of batteries that have, you know, these kind of uh, maintenance-free deals, uh, not necessarily maintenance-free, but semi-maintenance-free, they're semi-sealed. Again, do the same thing, clean them up, uh, and just get them done. These guys here are uh, 210 amp reserve capacity uh, batteries. As you can see, they are rated in uh, reserve capacity versus cold cranking amps because these are true uh, deep cycle batteries. Uh, uh, Interstate no longer makes these uh, 29 DCs, uh, which are were true uh, deep cycle batteries uh, for boats and RVs. Now they make uh, kind of a compromised battery where uh, the plates aren't as thick, and, but they're thicker than the average battery. so. They rate them both for cranking amps as well as reserve capacity. And then these are regular golf cart batteries, golf cart batteries, as you can see. And uh, these guys are rated at 232 amps uh, reserve capacity. So what you do is you just want to open that up, pull them out, and then take this and uh, you put it off to the side, uh, put it somewhere where you know it's not going to get contaminated. Uh, myself, I just like to you know put it up here for now. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, grab the, uh, the water filler. And what you do is you stick it in there, push all the way down, and you hear it, you'll hear it gurgling. And when it stops gurgling, it's full. It's a pretty easy thing to do. I mean, she's taking water still. There you go, she stopped. Go to the next cell, do the same thing. 
and you'll see that when you add ba uh, water to the batteries your battery charger will go into a charge mode uh, it will start charging at a higher amperage and that's because uh, when the batteries are low in water uh, they will also be low in charge because there's not as much acid uh, there's not much as much plate uh, or, or acid I should say uh, into uh, the battery uh, or liquid into the battery electrolyte that's the right word there's not as much electrolyte into the battery so therefore uh, you know to hold your 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 power and thus you know the charge will be lower so here we're putting to this one here and I can feel it gurgling and you just have to be patient uh, last time I did this I went through three gallons of water across 22 batteries so it does use them up and I do it uh, you know two to three times a year you just gotta make sure you stay on it because if you don't, you could fry your batteries, and that's a lot of money invested uh, if you don't uh, take care of them. Yeah, it looks like that guy is done. So now what we're going to do is, uh, well, typically I would wait uh, to uh, take a specific gravity reading until the battery is fully charged. Uh, you can see my house is on solar power right now because we're inverting. It's a 25.7 volts. We're inverting 20 amps, and you can hear the uh, uh, charge controllers are just humming along. This guy here has put out. It's kind of hard to see because of the reflection here. Let's see if uh, I can show you. Uh, we're getting 55 volts in, 5 amps out, uh, and then out uh, 25 volts and up to 10 amps. And then uh, today we've inverted on this one here 1.3 kilowatts. This one here, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, today we've done uh, 7.4 kilowatts and there's 3 uh, 300 amp hours uh, going through it at this point, uh, charging the batteries because we're obviously, you know, uh, taking the charge over there. So we're charging 1.84 kilowatts, which is actually pretty good. These are my, my uh, DuPont panels. My du I have two kilowatts of DuPont panels. So the fact that we're charging 1.84, uh, you know, it's almost near perfect uh, condition. There's very little wasted. I've seen it actually right at two kilowatts. Um, you know, today we have a, a nice sunny day here in Texas, and the time is actually later than I thought. It's almost uh, it's a quarter to four. So the sun, we are already passed the peak. At peak, I would assume that we were probably close to that two kilowatts. Uh, real hard to see with all that glare. But anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at see what the uh, what we're doing in here that guy is really low nope oh, sorry but then again I just added a lot of water so now we have to wait for the battery to charge up this one this is something that you do after the battery is fully charged right now they're all are reading low and uh, and that's Probably not a good indication. If I go to another uh, another battery, for example, before I add any uh, water to it, you'll see that the specific gravity uh, will be better. Uh, this one's low too, so we are not fully charged at this point. Uh, this these guys get drained out pretty good at night and draining drain them out. Uh, a good bit so it looks like I gotta do some maintenance on all of these guys make sure I put them on an equalized charge and bring that uh, bring that level back up so that's kind of what I wanted to show you guys make sure you have a good hydrometer uh, in place uh, that you could take a specific uh, gravity reading off your battery 
and uh, make sure that you do it after they're fully charged and before you add water. Um, and then if you see that they're low like they are right now, it means that I need, uh, I need to put a good equalized charge on these guys. And so I'll be doing that next to make sure I have my, my cycle uh, going here well, okay? So thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Take care.